For the first time, Downtown Goshen hosts its annual Fire and Ice Festival in February, almost two months after originally planned. But it doesn't look like the community seems to mind. It was uncertain whether or not coronavirus cases would allow there to be a Fire and Ice Festival this year. But Director of Events Adrian Nesbitt took the necessary precautions to make sure community members were able to get out and support not only local businesses, but also the artists. <laughs> we have really enjoyed great relationships with all of these ice carvers over the years. I mean, the largest group of ice carvers ever that came this year. And one of the groups that have been really impacted by COVID are artists um, who have had gigs canceled and, and festivals and fairs canceled and other things like that. So we are so happy to still let these artists come and create and do because they've had so many of their normal events canceled. And the Michiana ice carvers were excited to be back, especially Greg Beachy who was part of the brains behind the Fire and Ice Festival all those years ago. It was uh, the very first year that Goshen did First Fridays. They were going to stop it during the winter. And we kind of talked them into doing the Ice Festival during January. And the fire, the first couple years, was at Chili Cook-Off at the same time as the Ice Festival. And then it's just grown from there. And it really has. This year's Fire and Ice Festival featured fire dancers like Dana LaDuke, who has been fire dancing for the last three years in the festival. I think it's really just a sort of meditation for me personally, and I know other people experience that as well. Like when you're in the hoop, it's you and your hoop and the music, and you're, it's a sense of freedom. If you're wondering when the next Goshen Block Party will be, it may be a little while. At this point, we don't have any real events planned um, until we know we can move forward. And events take six months to a year to plan. So the last minute thing doesn't really work when it comes to events. So once we feel, and this is really testing the waters, you know, I mean, we're seeing when we have an outdoor event, will people actually still wear a mask? Will people socially distance? Will people follow the rules? And if yes, then that maybe will help us make decisions for future events. We may not know when the next Downtown Goshen Black Party will be, but you can stay up to date on the events in the Goshen community at downtowngoshen.org and goodofgoshen.com. For Globe News, I'm Katie Day.